I'm Alyssa and welcome to Soul TV. Hey, I'm Allison. What is Soul TV? Allison, it's the exclusive news channel for Real Del Soul. Oh, that's right. Wait, are we on right now? Yes. We're on the first episode. Oh, awesome. Let's get snorting, shall we? This week, we will have a minimum day on Friday, December 20th for all students K through 8th. This Wednesday, we will be having a Toppers restaurant fundraiser. Flyers will be sent home by your classroom teacher this week. This restaurant night helps support our sixth grade as they fundraise their way to see me. 20% off sales will be donated to the trip. The student council will be closing it out its canned food drive on Thursday, December 19th. So get, so get those cans turned in for a good cause. It's almost that time of year again, performance time. Last week, students in our lower grades held winter performances for students and families. Let's take a look at some of these amazing and spirited performances. Now let's see who's getting a little bit older this week and over winter break. Roll those birthdays! I'm Kayla and I'm here to introduce our reader review and books of the week. This week we have two re recommended books for you. If you love picture books, then you'll love Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. It's a great book to put you in the holiday spirit. And if you want a great chapter book, check out Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. This book is over 600 pages with half of them being hand-drawn pencil illustrations. Now let's check out what a Del Sol student has to say about another great book. Today, my sister and I read The Kissing Hand by Audrey Penn. This book is about a little raccoon. He's very afraid to go to school, so his mother tries to help him get over it. So, his mom helps him with something special, a special secret. It includes love. If you want to find out, you got to read it. This book shows that through love, anything is possible. I liked this book because of all the amazing. I liked the art. I thought the art was really cool. I like how the illustrator does all the animals. If you want to be featured in a real reader review, then head over to the link on your screen to record a book review on Flipgrid. Maybe you'll be featured in our next episode.
Welcome to Soul TV Sports. I am Sophia, and I'll be your guide on these sports extravaganza. Basketball season is upon us. Last week, our seventh grade Lady Phoenix's basketball team took on Real Real. The Lady, the Lady Phoenixes handled the Lady Bulldogs and came down with a W. With their own Ocean View a week before, the seventh grade girls are undefeated with 2-0 and record. Our 5-6 Lady team took on RJ Frank on Friday night. Unfortunately, the Lady Phoenixes came down with a loss in a hard-fought game. In other sports news, last Friday we had our pep rally for our fall sports teams. Let's take a look at some of the crazy events. <laughs> some moderate to chilly days for Oxnard. We will see temperatures in the lows to mid 60s throughout the day with nights and early mornings dipping into the low 50s. We can even see some early mornings start in the high 40s. The sun will come out tomorrow and possibly the day after as we are looking at mostly partly cloudy days to finish up to finish the week with some showers showing up on Sunday. Those showers look to continue into the next week and we may be in for a wet start to our holiday break. Well, that was your weather and this is, I mean, I'm Kayla. Later. Welcome to the first tech tip of the year. For this week's tech tip, I want to focus on using keyboard shortcuts. Keyboard shortcuts can be an extremely useful tool when using your Chromebook. Now most of you probably know control C to copy and control V to paste. And I'm sure you know about the most important of all shortcuts, control Z to undo. You can use this whenever you make a mistake. I especially like to use this one when typing because if I make a mistake, I can just click control Z and undo what I did versus deleting everything. Now, one of my favorite shortcuts to use are the typing shortcuts. For example, Control B will bold your text. Or, if you use Control U, it will underline it. And Control I will italicize it. So, give some of those shortcuts a try. But if you want to find some more, Head over to the link on your screen right now and you can see some of the other useful Chromebook and keyboard shortcuts. Well, that's this week's Teacher Tech Tip. Well, it looks like we made it to the end of our first episode. What? No, it can't be over already. Hey, relax. After a break, we'll, we'll have another one. Oh good, I'll just pray for a second. So any last reminders for the Delso uh, audience? Oh yeah, we have winter break starting December 21st. Enjoy your break and we'll see everyone back here on January 6th. That's right, when we get back it will be 2020. That means we'll have a new decade. Seriously? Awesome! Well, I'm Melissa. And I'm Allison. And remember to shine on. And we'll see you next time. <laughs>